looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. There's this one to kick right. And 11 under in front of the player with this putt. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And that's eight birdies today. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Reach the 13th is a short par four, but a really good one, depending on how much you want to take off. There's really no real reason to go right at the green, Luke, with a tee shot, even if you have the power to get there because you just can't stop it on the green. If anything, you want to hit it out to the right where your next shot is going straight up the green. This is a very flat green, but is perched well above the fairway. It's a wonderful.
five feet coming up to the cup. This one's looking good. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Sitting at 12 under par for the day. Well, for all the opportunities 13 provides you, you don't get too many here at the par 3 14th. It's a beast. As easy of a birdie opportunity as the 13th was, 14, yeah, not so much here. Even though the green is quite large in size, it's difficult to hit with a long iron. How close was that to going down? Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Still in the lead now after that hole. The 15th is certainly no cakewalk either. A par four measuring just under 500 yards. This is the time where you need to have the best drive of the day. Take it out to the right. Avoid the bunkers down the left-hand side. In the green, once again, it's got some movement into a high spot in the front, a low area, and then a high area in the back. When the pin's all the way back, good luck making four. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Hard to control. Great touch. Really nicely played. Love watching this player around the greens. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Second shot here on the 16th. <laughs> Trying to move to 13 deep here with this putt. This is their look at birdie. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. Leading by six strokes after that one. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Going with the hybrid. And he's safely on the green. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. This for a birdie birdie run. In she goes. Let's head to the next. The finishing hole at TPC Louisiana, in my opinion, Rich, is a great one because, again, you can have anything from eagles all the way through to bogeys and worse. Just avoid those little pot bunkers down the left-hand side, and you might be able to give it a whirl in two. However, you got to be careful to, A, not miss it right, obviously, but even going too far left, you can really get an uncomfortable pitch shot from a low area left of the green. Big time bunker shot here. If it goes in, he'll win the tournament. And if this chip drops, he'll win the event. Wow, that almost went in the hole. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. This is a good chance. Well, pack your bags. We're all done here in New Orleans. It's time to head to Bourbon Street. But I'm dying to go with the winner of this Zurich Classic of New Orleans. Oh, you better believe it. Some kind of golfing hat out there this week. The battle down by the bayou this week, Luke. And I got to say, a well-earned victory. Now it's time to go strap on the beads and hit the bayou. Rich, there are some victories that stand out in your mind, and this one for me seems to be like that. That was a high-quality performance under all that duress.